Hi! I'm going to be excited to talk about this week about um, women's representation in comics. This will be the characters and not the writers because I don't know enough female writers, which in itself is a problem. Do the walk, do the talk, go to school, go to school, do the watch, do the talk, do the throw a thing you have, do the club, do the bed, don't be shy, do the lie, do the cry, do the shout, do the do it, never do it. The only two people here are free to come over and talk about it when they like, because I'll just go last. Hello. Hi. Get further back. I'm small enough that it doesn't really matter. Get further back. back. You can't closer. see me, fucker. <laughs> uh, and also, I think I'm... Is that enough? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Go on, share your opinion. Do it. Well, apart from the fact that there's not enough female characters in like, comic books in general. Okay, I'm going to talk mostly about Marvel because I don't know enough about DC or um, in other independent comics. But in Marvel, off the top of my head, I can think of not that many um, women, but more to the point, not enough women of colour. Like, off the top of my head, I can only think of Miss Marvel. Um, no, she's white. She's white. Yep, she is white and blonde. She's the whitest. No, not Captain Marvel. Miss Marvel. Oh. Miss Marvel is the only woman of colour I can think of off the top of my head. But that's maybe because I was here. looking at the Miss Marvel comic because I wanted to buy it so Naturally. badly. I want to. Looks good. Yes. Um. But women in Marvel generally, you've got um, Miss Marvel is one of the superheroes. You've got. Rumiko, but she dead. She dead, dead. Who? Rumiko. Uh, Tony Stark's wife for a while? Nope, don't even know her. She dead. That was in the she 90s did. though, but she dead. She did. I might be wrong, she might have re been recovered. You never know. Um, can you think of any other women of colour in Marvel? Does. She is an F former X Men who was. Um, is she with Agents of Hate? Isn't Storm black? Storm is black. Yeah, Storm. There's Dust, who is an X Man. And there's Monica, the next wave. Yeah, Monica. Um, Monica, Monica Leblo. Leblo. Um, you've got what's her face? Monique. No, not Monique. Sorry, this is. There's a Spanish Spider Girl. Um. Yeah. There's also a, a Muslim superhero with. She used to be with what's it called? X Factor. That when it was a detective show, yeah. detective comics. That was one. Um, there's also, I had this off the top of my head just now and I can't remember her name. This is going to really annoy me. Again, the only one I knew of colour would be Dust, who was a Saudi Arabian X-Man who could turn into sand. Oh yeah, I remember that one. And Storm, woman of colour. Yeah, the Storm, biggest. But Storm is obvious enough where you can kind of forget about her because she's yeah. just so in the forefront. She's, and um, there's only one of her compared to like... There was a female black cat for a bit. Yeah, but now she's white again. No, not black cat, I mean female black panther for a bit. Darn and she'd one. naturally be of colour because she's from Africa. She's from Wakanda. Should be from Wakanda. Oh, um... Who's the one who creates fireworks? Not Dazzler. Oh, Jubilee. Yeah, Jubilee. She's um, half she's Asian. Half Asian, so another woman of color. And this, the actually X Men is pretty good with women of color. X Men is actually the current X Men run has a lot of women actually in it. Well, considering that the Avengers now have an all female team, even though they have a stupid name. Yes, I'm looking forward to just seeing that because they have got good, got good writers. DeConnick is really good. Um, I think the other one is Gillen. I'm really bad at remembering crap, but I would like to see more women of colour, not just black, um, Asians, um, Arabs, just... People who are not white. People who are not white, um, being more than just background, the only, the only woman of colour who has got, who is fronting a line is Miss Marvel. I mean, Storm doesn't have her own line, she's part of the X-Men line. 
Um, Dust doesn't have her own line. I never no. even heard of Dust until just now. Dust is a, a best a tertiary X-Men character. Tertiary. Um, Monica is part of Agents of Hate. Which she is not, because that was like a one issue thing. And may or may not actually, actually happen. She was She might even not be around anymore. No, she's she's hanging around in the background and keeps the same costume, but Again, background Next Wave has a very um Next Wave is interesting. Next wave is weird it. and yes. it it's unsure if it's canon or not. Yeah. Because of the shit that happened. There's a lot of shit that happens. Even I'm, I read it twice and I'm still a bit confused. See, if I'd had time to think of this, I would have more. No, you don't get time to think of it. It's on the spot. Go. There's Lady Hawkeye. She's not white. No. Uh, America. I can't America, a whole country. But you know, America. you know which one I'm talking about. Miss America. I cannot believe I forgot um, Miss America. The young gay Avenger. young Avenger. Which, yes, for one, she's a woman of color and she's queer, which I like. Also, I do like Young Avengers because, well, there's only one person of color, there's two people of color. I'm sad that they got rid of Eli. I liked Eli. Um, but I do like the fact that almost all the Young Avengers are queer. Even Lady Hawkeye, they're like, yeah, the way she looks at Miss America ain't how a straight girl looks at Miss America. I feel like this is very rambly and non-coherent. That's fine, that's how I do things. Hmm. Have you not you have you not seen my videos? I have seen your videos. All of my videos are rambly and incoherent. I don't like being rambly and incoherent. Too bad. I in fact now have power over you. He's infected me. Think of where that think of the damage I can do on the internet with that. So yeah, not enough women of colour in Marvel. In DC, God, DC has been historically really bad with their female characters in general. I can't think. Can you think of any women of colour? Technically, Wonder Woman should tend to be at least a bit tanned. Who? Wonder Woman should be a bit tanned. Isn't she technically South American? She's Greek. Technically Greek, but I call I Greek as white. The, in yeah. the, as in the Greek kind, not the jungle kind. Yeah. So, but I would technically code her as white since... She, she's drawn as super fucking white. Yes. I can't think of any DC characters who are women of colour. If anyone knows, please tell me. I would like to know. And I would like to find out more. Or any... I'm not good with independent comics. I'm good with web comics. Um, but web comics tend to have more diversity anyway. Yeah, but that's because they can not... They can do whatever they want, mostly. That's it, that's all I have to say. More women of char character? character. Well, more women more characters. women of character. More women of character because sometimes they're just flat. It's like reading a little placard that someone has written, she's meant to be this, this, and this, and you've got nothing in there. There's nothing of substance. But more women of color and more women in general, come on. We make up more than half the population. We should see ourselves in this, apart from in this. I don't. What? I picked up the wrong book. <laughs> What are, you, what are you meant to pick up? I wanted to pick you up... You want to see more Empowered? That's fine. There's I like want to see more Empowered. Models, right? Well, Empowered is blonde, white, and big boobed. Blonde. Not... She's blonde, white, and has... I'll talk about Empowered. You can talk about... Ooh, Hannah will now talk about Empowered. Let's go. It's fine. No, it's Stop this shit. Let's what? Go. Have you read it? Slide in again because I ruined your slide in. I'm sorry. started reading comics, so not an authority like the other two. Not an authority, I just have a lot of opinions. Not as opinionated as the other one. Ooh. Um, you're gonna get all sassy. I'm gonna get my sass out. <laughs> um, in fact, ironically, the comic book Nadira doesn't like, which is Empowered, is the first comic book I've read and really, really liked and found it really engaging. And yes, she is straight. Well, there is some discussion that you might be bisexual. Uh, white, blonde, with a very heterosexually inclined figure, as in she has large breasts and a large bum. But the whole point of it is that one, she doesn't really realise that she's hot, 
Two, she's a shitload of body self-esteem issues. She constantly thinks she's overweight. And yes, I realise this is all patriarchal stuff that no one woman should have to go through. But it makes her really relatable as a character because the fact that yes, she's a superhero. Yes, we see that kind of image and we think, oh my god, she's so hot, or that's the image she's supposed to be giving off. And yet you read it and you realise that she doesn't think anything like that. She doesn't think she's good at anything. She doesn't think anything of herself. These self-esteem issues are things that even the most confident woman can relate to because everyone has bad days where you feel like shit and you feel like you are fat and you can't do this and you can't do that and you can't be a good person and you're just crap at everything and that's like empowered life every single day. So I think that although on the surface she looks like she should be this stereotypical badass big boob blonde lady who can do everything and have everything and is super sexy, she's actually got a lot more insecurity. I still haven't decided whether or not I think this is a feminist text. Um, in terms of a female superhero, she's an interesting take on it because of the insecurity, but again, she is white and blonde and relatively straight, so she's not really pushing the boundaries in terms of the representation she brings but in terms of the way her character is constructed and that is represented, that's where the, um, it, it starts to become more real. She's, she's a superhero, but she's not always super, if that makes sense. Um, in terms of like my general knowledge of other superheroes who are female and are non-white, the only ones I can think of immediately are Storm, who I think, as we said, becomes uh, like uh, race neutral because she's so embedded, I guess. It's it, like I wouldn't yeah. say race neutral, but when you think she's of not. She women was, of colour, you just Storm's been around for a really long time. Yeah. And it was really important X Men, which is why she's in the original movie. Mm. And she is um, a strong, independent black female, except when she gets married, and then to she becomes an African queen for a bit. It's kind of cool. Yeah, she's she goddess. What? Yeah, goddess. Yeah, goddess. Where the goddess technically. But you guys were saying that because she's so in the. That's film. that's just me going. I can't think of anyone who's of color. Oh uh, right. You okay. know, like you just like oversee things. Okay, well then the, the two. Well, the main one I think of is Storm, yeah. and the second one I think of is Monica from Next Wave. But they are quite similar in. Like, not the fact that they both can control the weather, but in the fact that they're both sassy black ladies yeah. who yeah. are slightly older and both lead teams. Because I know Storm doesn't do that much leading, but she does do some leading. But I couldn't name any queer, lesbian, female um, superheroes. I couldn't, if I didn't, I would know about Storm because I did watch the X Men as a kid, but if I hadn't done Next Wave as a comic dub, wouldn't have known about Monica. So, really, I think I can only really say Storm in terms of mainstream media, which is bad. But I just I don't know enough about comics to to say what is the next step because I feel like there's probably a lot of indie comics that are doing this kind of thing. Like web comics have excuse me web comics that have characters who are women and queer and of colour and all of the above, but that's not what people think of when they think of superheroes. They think of big, muscular, straight white men and sometimes straight white blonde females. And unfortunately that's what representation is for me. Can I go down? Yeah. My problem is I don't see anyone like me in comics, pretty much. No, but that is also... I mean, even without the hijab, even just as an Asian girl, I can think of only one. I couldn't tell you any Asian superheroes. So it's just, that's my thing. Growing up, I did not, I loved the X-Men, I could not connect with any of them personally. Because they were all, I don't Again, know. Again, one of, of, the only one of different, of obvious different race would be Storm. Because Jubilee is... Is it Jubilee? She's mixed race. No, she's, she's mixed Asian. No, she's kind of lame. She's, she's kind of Asian. Mm, kind of. Yeah. 
kind of, but... She was a really lame, like, mall rat type. Yeah, she just kind of followed Also had a along. stupid fucking costume. Now she's a vampire. Yeah, she was a vampire. Weird. Anyway. Um, oh yeah, I should actually share my opinion on this one this time. Yes. Because yeah. I didn't do it last week. Hi. Um, women in the comics. Uh, it's a very underrepresented... Gender? Yeah, it's underrepresented gender. Because there's two mainstream genders that are represented in comics, which is of course male and female. And seeing as the male is one of the most important, the more sellable gender. Apparently. At the start it was. When comics first came out. Well, not when comics first came out. When superhero comics first came out, Superman was the thing to be. And Captain America was white blonde dude. Yeah. And even all the original, like, what is the word for it? Um, free license superheroes? They're all males. I can't think of a female free license superhero. Like, I know a few. There's like Mandrake the Magician, the Phantom. These are all incredibly old black and white comic superheroes. Just trying to remember Shiro was um, Shiro was He Man. And yeah. only existed because of He Man. And is white as well. Yeah. yeah, it's super fucking white. Like He Man. I he like Man. I like Shiro. I like Shiro. I've got nothing against it because I've been. I like to push it up the horse with wings. Who well, I like to push it up the I like to push it up the um, But the female representation of any race or different sexuality is very much not prevalent in superhero comics, but luckily for indie comics there is quite there. Like my new favourite comic, Saga, has a strong independent woman who is of a different race being a main character, who is also a mother and that scene opens with her giving birth. I was just distracted by the box on my face. It follows you around, Charlie. Wow. Follow this box. So actually, if you're looking for good web comics, there's a plethora out there, and one that's really good. Do you mean plethora? Plethora. plethora. Sorry. Plethora. There's a plethora of web comics. With English is not my. You actually got on camera and do tongue. it. English, English is go. not my mother tongue. Look at you being on camera. Yeah. Yeah. English is not my mother tongue. Um, but there's Hiveworks, which is run by, I think mostly women, and they do have a really good collection of web comics with a really good representation of women That's good. and women of colour and people of colour and people of sexualities, different sexualities. Boop. Boop, boop. Boop. The end. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's oh. an unrepresented sub. You didn't really want your opinion then. Well I don't really I my opinion is generally the opinion of everything you guys have just said. It's a case of it is underrepresented and it needs to be pushed more forward when compared with the normative straight male, or just male in general really. Yeah. Because now that comics are more modern and have more variety. More variety. More, it's they allowed, should have more variety. It's allowed things like Spider Woman to get a new really cool looking costume. Web thing. No. The new Spider Woman who's like got weird bio bug powers, wears a lot of black and wears a lot of red and yellow. She um, has a new, really, really cool costume. Um, Batgirl has a really, really cool costume. Speaking of Batgirl, I don't see the problem with that new cover. Which one? The one where Joker's threatening her. I, I haven't seen it yet. Basically, it's she has like the Joker red smile on her face. She yeah. looks terrified because Joker's behind her with her hand, with his hand like this. Okay. And people said, "You can't do this." What? But, yeah, basically, because. But surely they but have been like that in the comic art. Yeah, but by showing that she's being threatened by Joker, it's kind of like saying she's as big a threat as Batman, isn't it? Yeah, and also she's a fucking superhero. Yeah. It's part of her fucking job. I'm sure that... But like, people got that cover pulled because it wasn't... It's not victimising her as a woman, it's victimising her Joker as a superhero. Joker yeah. does this all the time. Yeah. It's his, kind I mean, of his thing. I mean, how was she, like... She was dressed in her costume, wasn't she? Yeah, she was in costume. She had, like... Red thing over yeah. and looks terrified, as anyone would be with Joker there. The thing is, if it didn't have a bat, No, someone mocked up a cover of Doomsday doing it to Superman. Mm. It was a really cool cover, and people are complaining because it got switched out, because they should. But, um, yeah, that's not a problem. Um, Sexualization, I think, is an issue, but also 
That's a different topic. That is a, a very different, different topic. Talk about men in that as well. Yeah, men are also sexualized in comics, but in a very different way. Very different way. We, when you're talking about the sexualization of women, you're talking about wanting to have sex with them. You're talking about them as objects. When you're talking about the sexualization of men, you're talking about men wanting to be them, wanting to become the superhero. Yeah, no, that's a very different topic it's overall. It's a become but... versus possess sort of thing. I think I've shared my limited opinion on this because it's hard for me to give that much of an opinion being male and straight, straight, straight. And it's such a horrible issue. Oh, no. I have power over you. You're on video now. I'm going to edit. Any stupid face you make is now my stupid face. <laughs> How about I just sit here and swear for like five minutes? That's fine.